Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is the windows. If you press Alt X, you can see the windows through the plan here. And you see they don't actually line up with our model as it currently is. Now we could do those just with the texture, but then if we look at the ones from the kind of original actual game, you can see there's actually a kind of second material that shows a sky map for it. So we're going to actually want to have polygons defining the window so that we can show that second sky material through it. Now we want to make sure that everything is still in quads. Some game engines can handle tries, but for this tutorial we're making sure that everything stays as quad. So the first thing we're going to do is add two swift loops for this join down here. And we can always tweak those again in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is just select these two sections here, and we're going to inset that to make that window. <coughs> so if you go into vert mode, you can then kind of pull these down and line this up as best you can. So something like that should do. Just bear in mind that because we've just been pulling those around they're going to have caused issues here so we need to re flatten this out. And use the top view to do that. And this might take you a bit of time just tweaking these to get these right. Just make sure you select each vertice and move it into its correct place. Okay, so there's our side window done. Next window we'll look at is this front window here. We'll leave symmetry on. And again, using inset, we'll cut this in. Obviously at the moment it's cutting it both of them, but we'll fix that shortly. And then on this one here, let's just have a look at the plan. We can see it does kind of come down a bit there, so we want to match that as best as possible. So we'll add in another swift loop. Coming down there. And we'll, again we'll go to polygon mode and insert in this window as well. And the last window is the back one. So again we will insert that. In fact, we won't insert that. What we're going to use this time is the cut tool. So we come down to cut here, 
and click to cut in. And then we avoid the problem we had with, with this one. Okay, so that's all our windows cut in. We do need to fix fix this one here, but we'll do that when we collapse the model into one. In fact, we'll do it now. We should be able to do it now. So if you go into polygon mode, and delete that polygon there, you should be able to select this edge and just drag it into place. Okay, so that's all our windows now added to our model. So now we can look at assigning different materials to those. So to do that, if we open the material editor, I do think now if we look at this model, this is pretty much a model sign off. Um, we've got all the windows cut in, everything's in quads. Um, in fact, the last thing we need to do is just tweak this back wheel. So if you remember, if we go to Object Properties and turn off edges only, that's the actual modelled structure, so we are getting tries there. So to fix that, if you add an edit poly to one of your wheels, go to Edge Mode and then Cut, you should be able to just cut down there and down there to make sets of four and the same on the other side and because these are instants you can tell the instancing from the bold text here we know that that will apply to all of our models Okay, so with the um, model now complete, we can start creating our materials. So open the material editor with M on your keyboard, or this icon up here. And in a new material slot, if you click on the standard tab and assign a multi sub object. Yep, we will discard the old material. Now this allows you to have as many materials as you want on the model. We only need two, one for the bodywork and one for the sky. So we'll set number and we'll set this to two. And our first one here we'll call apply standard material and we'll call this Daytona main and in material 2 we'll again apply standard material and call this one Daytona sky Okay, so if you click the go to parent button here, you'll see we've got one and two there. And in Daytona main, in diffuse, we'll assign a dark red. And in the Daytona sky, we will assign a kind of sky blue color. So select the main chassis, go into polygon mode, and select all our window polygons. And in the set ID tab here, put two. If you then press Control I, and the rest of it, you can put one and then assign the material to it. So 
and there we go you can see we've got our two different materials on our model okay so as a final thing we need to attach this section so if we add an edit poly on top of our model then go to attach select the spoiler now you see the spoiler is currently in the main has got the sky material so again select all that in polygon mode or element mode and in ID for one okay so looking good we're all ready with our materials now we just need to unwrap 